In the last video I showed you how to draw circles in Scratch. In today's video we're going to expand on that and turn those circles into a, a graphics effect, a little bit of a, a diagram if you will. Um, so let's start off by getting rid of the cat and get our pen sprite that we were using in the last video. Let's scroll down here and find our pencil. There we are, pencil. And head into costumes, delete the second costume. And then also remember to put the pencil, so by dragging this box over the pencil, highlight the whole pencil, and drag the pencil, put the tip of the pencil into the crosshairs. I'm also gonna add in our backdrop. So let's head into backdrops, and I'm looking for my, my wall for my graffiti effect. So clicking on the sprite of pencil, let's go into code. I'm ready to actually code our diagram. So the first thing we need is an event of when the green flag's clicked. Let's pull that out here. And make that a bit bigger for you guys. And I'm gonna tell it to go to a starting position of zero, zero. So it's gonna start at zero and zero, zero X and zero and Y. I'm gonna tell it to point in the direction of 90 degrees. Now we have all of our pen blocks are required. And as you can see, we don't have any pen blocks. So we need to add extension, head into the pen, and now we have our pen blocks. So the first thing we need to do is lift up the pen, because we don't want to make a mark until we're ready. We want to erase all, so we can add that in. Then we want to set our pen sizes and our pen colors. So we'll set our pen size. And for a pen size, I'm gonna say three for a pen size. And for the pen color, I'm gonna have pen color. I'm gonna say zero. I'm just gonna pull that across. Okay, and then zero. Okay, so we've pen size and pen color. Now we need to put the pen down, okay? I'm not gonna make the same mistake I made in the last video. Pen down getting all in a, in a tizzy and rushing when I'm doing these things. So, Next thing we need to do is to program it to draw a circle. And if you watched the last video, you'll remember that we needed to go around 360 degrees. So we need, in the controls, we need to pull out a repeat block, pull out a repeat block, and it needs to repeat this event 360 times, okay? 360 times. And it's going to be it's going to be, in that 360 times, it's going to be move one step, move one step, and turn one degree, okay? Turn one degree. But that'll only allow us to draw one circle. And for this effect, what we're actually going to do is we're going to draw 10 circles, but I'm gonna have um, the 10 circles drawn in different locations. So we're gonna add a couple of extra things in here. First thing I'm going to add in is I'm going to add in a repeat block. So go back to our controls and grab a repeat block of 10 and put it around the repeat block of 360. Okay, so 10 times it's going to do it's going to draw 10 circles. Okay? But each time it draws a circle, I wanted to change something. I wanted to change the pen color. Well, not in operators, by mistake, went to pen and look for change pen color by 10. Okay? And pull that out. And put that to be the first thing that we do in our um, in our repeat. Okay, it'll change the pen color by ten. It'll draw a circle. But then I want it to actually change its location. Okay, so that requires a point in direction, point in direction block. Okay, I'm going to build this out here just so just so you guys can see what this block is. And inside here, rather than just having a 90 degrees, I'm going to use an operator. An operator of plus. I'm going to put plus in here. Then we're going to go back to our motions. And I'm going to grab a direction block. A direction block. Hmm, that didn't work. Direction block. And I'm going to put 36. 36. So. This is gonna be point in the direction of whatever direction you're currently in, plus 36 degrees. And that one can go in after our circle. So, let me just make this a bit smaller so we can see the whole thing on screen. So this repeat block is, we're gonna repeat this whole thing 10 times. 
well, what are we going to repeat 10 times? We're going to change the color of our pen by 10. We're going to draw a circle. Then we're going to change our direction by uh, the direction you're currently in and another 36 degrees. 36 times 10 would be 360. So we should be able to draw 10 uh, circles at different um, increments all the way around. So let's see what that effect looks like. As you can see, we go to our first position and we're in our first color of the color tablet, which is our, our orange. And you can see we've changed. So the angle here, this angle down here, is this point in direction. So it was 90. It started up here originally at 90. Okay, point in direction 90 directly across here. And when it gets to this piece of code, it changes its point and direction this much as it starts its new circle and it continues that process 10 times until we get all the way around so I'll, I'll, I'll go big screen we can watch this in big screen so we've gone through orange yellow different shades of green into the blues very good blues and it'll continue all the way around now you guys can mess about with this change the size of the circle change your pen colors and so on but um this is a pretty good effect you don't have to do it this size circle as well this is this is making a, a quite a large effect here but if you wanted to do this on a smaller scale then just mess around with the numbers stick your own dimensions into the steps that you need so for instance your your move one step put in move half a step and it'll change the size of your circle and we're nearly there now while we're waiting for this to finish i'll just say again remember to click subscribe and click on the bell i really need some subscri some subscribers to this channel uh, to keep the channel going so please remember to click like as well and comment down below if you if you have any questions and you want to ask me any questions or different projects you'd like me to make then comment down below and we can we can work on a few things together so guys i hope you liked the video remember to come back tomorrow we're going to start we're, going to, we're done with the circles now we're going to come back tomorrow we're going to do triangles for the next couple of days very quickly then we'll be moving into various other shapes and other other projects like this so remember to click like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one